Hey guys, in this lecture, we will see custom processors. NiFi provides many out of the box processors and controller services. In the latest version of NiFi, which is 1.16.2, there are around 309 processors and 108 built in controller services. These built in processors can pretty much handle all your use cases that you may need to implement in a data pipeline project. But still, there are scenarios where you would like to build your own custom processor. NiFi provides an option to build and deploy your custom processor. There are two prerequisites for building a custom processor one is Java, and the other is Maven. You need to get Java 8 or Java 11 version installed on your system, and you can download the latest version of Maven. Using Maven archetype is the easiest way to build our custom processor or a custom controller service. We have already seen installation of Java in our third chapter. Before we see how to install Apache Maven, let's understand why Apache Maven is needed for NiFi custom processors. NiFi provides Maven project template to build custom processors and controller services. These Maven project templating toolkit is known as archetype. The archetypes automatically generates a code with all the required dependencies in it. We just need to update the code and add our logic to process the input flow file and produce the output flow file. These are the two archetypes provided by NiFi. NiFi processor bundle archetype and NiFi service bundle archetype. These are used to create custom processors and custom controller services. Now let's go and install Apache Maven to use these archetypes. To install Apache Maven, we need to have Java configured properly in our environment variable. If you want to know how to install Java and configure the environment variable, please refer to chapter 3. To verify if Java is installed and configured properly, open a command prompt and run echo percent Java home percent. This will show your current Java installation. Once you have verified the Java path, click on Maven download link to download the zip file. After that, we will extract the downloaded file and set maven home in the environment variable and add maven bin directory in the environment path variable. For details, we can refer this link of futurexskills.com. Let's go to the link and understand the installation of Apache Maven. This is the link to the page on our website futurexskills.com where you can go and see the installation steps of Apache Maven. Please scroll down and go to the installation steps. To verify if Java is installed and path variables are configured properly in the environment variable, open a command prompt and run echo java home command to see the java home variable and run java hyphen version command to check which version of java is installed. Next, we'll go to the maven download page and download the maven zip file. Scroll down. We'll select the zip archive. Click on the link and download. In the third step, we'll unzip the downloaded file. I have already downloaded, unzipped it, and placed the unzip file at this location. The next step is we need to open environment variables. Click on edit system environment variable. Then we need to click on the environment variables. And in the system variables, we need to add maven home and also update the path variable here. To add maven home, click on new and add maven home and the path where we placed our unzip file. Click on OK and select the path and click on edit. Once you do that, you need to click on new and add the path to the maven bin directory in the path variables. That's it. Maven is installed on your system. To verify if maven is installed, we can run maven hyphen hyphen version command, which will show you maven home and the version of Apache maven installed on your system. We will see how we can develop and deploy a NiFi custom processor. We will generate NiFi processor template code using Maven archetype. 
For that, we need to open a command prompt and run maven archetype generate command. Then select for the NIFI archetypes and then define our maven project properties like group ID, artifact ID, version, etc. Once you provide these details and hit enter on command prompt, a maven project with default Java file as my processor will be created. The detailed steps are mentioned in our website featurexskills.com. We will go to the website page, try to generate and deploy our NIFI custom processor from there. The link is also shared in the resource section of this lecture, so you can copy from there. Let's click on this link and open the page for detailed steps. On this page, let's scroll down to see the steps. To generate NIFI processor template code using Maven archetype, we need to run this command first. Copy this command and go to the location where you want to generate your custom processor. Open a command prompt here and write Maven archetype colon generate. Click on enter. We will see all the list of available archetypes. After that, we have to search for NIFI archetypes or filter as NIFI. So these are the archetypes available. To search for NIFI archetype, we will write NIFI and press enter. These are the two archetypes available for NIFI. NIFI processor bundle archetype and NIFI service bundle archetype. Since we are creating custom processor, so we will select the first one press 1 and hit enter. Now we need to select the NIFI version for which we are generating the custom processor template. In our case, our NIFI version is 1.14.0. So we'll select 45 here. Press enter. Now we have to give the artifact base name. Let's give sample as the base name. Press enter. In group ID, mention com.featurexskills.custom hit enter. In the artifact ID, we'll mention NIFI custom processors. Version will keep 1.0 snapshot. It is fine. So hit enter again. So this will be our package name in the code. Hit enter again. Now just say yes and press enter. The template has been generated. Go to this location and see the template. So this is the template which got generated. If we double click here, we'll see a NAR folder and a sample processor folder. Within the NIFI, within the NIFI sample processors, we will have our my processor Java file. We have successfully created a custom processor named named my processor. Let's open this and see the code inside it. So this my processor is just a template. It has one property named my property. It is also defining a relationship called my relationship. And we need to implement our code here. For any processing we want to do on the flow file, we have to add our code, do the required transformation, and generate the output flow file. That's it for this video. In the next lecture, we will see how we can add new properties to the processor, and we will add success and failure relationship to the processor, and simply pass the input flow file as output flow file. We'll also see how we can build the jar and deploy in the NIFI cluster. We will see how we can update the custom processor and how to build and deploy in the NIFI cluster. Let's open our project in an IDE. I'll be using IntelliJ, but you can use Eclipse or any other IDE. I'm starting IntelliJ IDEA. Go to the files. Click on open and select our custom processor project. Click on NIFI custom processor and click OK.
expand this NiFi sample processors. This is the my processor Java file. If you want to update the processor name from my processor to something else, then you need to refactor this file. Right click and refactor and click on rename. But remember one thing if you rename the processor, you will also have to rename the entry in this file. Go to resources, meta inf, and click on this file. Here also, you need to update the processor name. Let's keep the name as it is for now. Go back to my processor. Here we see there is a property name called my property. Let's change the display name of the property to sample property. We will create two relationships, one for success and one for failure. Change this to success. Change the name as well. Here, change this to failure. So in our new custom processor, we will have two relationships. One will be named as success, the other will be failure. Accordingly, we need to add these relationships here. So our first relationship was success. And the second one was failure. That's it. In the on trigger method, we'll simply pass the input flow file as output flow file. To do that, we need to write session dot transfer flow file name and we need to specify to which relationship we want to pass this flow file. So we'll pass this to success relationship. That's it. Let's save the code. We can build the jar file from command line or from the IntelliJ IDEA itself. Let's go inside the NiFi custom processor folder. Type CMD and hit enter to open a command prompt here. And run maven clean install hyphen d enforcer dot skip equal to true. Click on enter. The jar is built successfully. We can also run this command through IntelliJ IDEA. Click on Maven. Click on this M sign. And run this command to build the jar file. Once the jar file is built, go to the NiFi sample NAR folder. Click on target. This is the jar file which got generated for our custom processor. We need to copy this file and place it in extension or lib folder of NiFi. Let's copy this file and place it in the NiFi lib or extension folder. If we put the file in lib folder, we need to restart NiFi cluster to use the new custom processor. But if you put the custom processor in extension folder, then the processor will be available right away. Go to our NiFi canvas, click on processors, and search for my processor. We see our custom processor available here. Double click on my processor, zoom in, right click, and click on configure. Here we can see the property name has changed to sample property. And in the settings, we can see the relationships are failure and success. To test if it is working fine, add a generate flow file processor. With some custom test value. 
add a relationship for success and we just need to test the processor so we'll add a funnel and add success relationship with the funnel auto terminate the failure relationship sample property is a mandatory property so we need to define some value click apply change the scheduling value in generate flow file processor and right click and click run once start this my processor we see the processor is successful and it has sent an output flow file to the next processor that's it for this video i hope you guys understood what are custom processors and how we can generate a custom processor template using maven archetype and how we can deploy it in nifi cluster thank you for watching